Oh boy, today we got a spicy video. Recently, an official trailer for the Floor 2 update for Roblox Stores was released, and with it came a showcase of several features from the update, including a new room, cutscenes, and mechanics. So today, I'll be analyzing this teaser trailer, and breaking down all of the secrets you may have missed. I don't want to waste any more of your time, so with all of that being said, let's begin. Alrighty, so first I will play this trailer in its full glory, with no cuts or commentary. I will do this so all of you can get a clean viewing and reaction to the video without being interrupted. Full credits to Splash for making this trailer, and with all of that being said, let's roll the footage. Alrighty, so first we are shown a pretty large room with what appears to have two staircases, a balcony, and a tunnel. Now what's interesting about this room in particular is that the developers gave a rough layout of it in the form of a sketch a while back, and I'll put the image of this sketch up on the screen. Obviously, some more things were added to this room from when this sketch was made, such as ladders and railings, but overall, from this drawing, we can get a rough sense of what the full room is supposed to look like. We can also see several decorations around the room, such as a generator in the tunnel as well as boxes on the floor. The generator in particular is quite interesting, as it leads me to believe that it may be involved in some sort of puzzle, which I'm super excited to see. Moving on, we are next shown a room that appears to be flooded with water. This could mean that swimming is now something we will be doing indoors, which I guess is pretty cool, however there is something really interesting in this section of the trailer which many of you may have missed. You see, while this room is being showcased, you can hear a coughing or groaning sound in the background, and this to me seems to be coming from some sort of entity. Now, we know this sound isn't part of the background music, as actual in-game sounds can be heard alongside the music in this trailer, and this becomes more apparent the further we get into it. So, this could mean that there's an entity lurking in the water in this room, which might be a challenge us players will have to face when we do eventually encounter this room. Now, some people have said that this cough is actually a really muffled pssst sound from Screech, but even if that is the case, it's still cool to see it in this teaser. In the next clip, we are shown a room which appears to be overgrown with vegetation. It almost reminds me of the greenhouse area in the hotel, and this is further backed up by how the special tool shed closets seen there also appear in this room. Additionally, it appears that water is falling from the ceiling in this room, which I think is a pretty cool detail. Of course, we have to talk about Eyes, who is confirmed to appear in the mines based on this trailer. It appears they have been given the ability to teleport around the room, similarly to the Lookman entity, meaning that they have also become more challenging to deal with. To be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about Eyes teleporting, as that was really the mechanic which separated them from the Lookman the most, but I guess it's alright if both entities are essentially the same now. Next up, we are shown a clip of a swarm of what appears to be a moth entity breaking the lights in a cave-like room. Now what's cool is that this new moth entity was actually leaked a while ago, and there are images of what their model looks like up close, which I'll put on the screen right now. Now judging by how this moth swarm is breaking the lights, as well as how moths in general are attracted to lights, I believe that this entity will function in a way where it will attack you if you are holding a light source, which I think to me seems like a pretty cool concept. Moving on, the next clip we are shown appears to be what happens after we escape the hotel. We can see the player character falling in the elevator before they eventually reach the mines. Now, as for when this cutscene would play in game, I'm not really sure. It could be an extension of the hotel ending or it may play whenever you load into a floor 2 round. In fact, it may not even appear in the game at all and instead just before this teaser, it really isn't known. Still, it is very well done and I hope we will see it in game soon. 
Lastly, before the ending of this teaser trailer, we are shown a clip of the player character from the cutscene before, as well as a short clip of what the first room in the mines looks like. Now, the player character in particular has sparked a lot of debate in the community, and I'd really love to know your input in the comments. Some people say this character is just one of the developers, and it really has no significance to the story of the game. Other people say that this character is in fact the canon protagonist of Doors, and we actually play and experience the game through them. I don't really know what the correct answer to this debate is, so again, leave your input in the comments. Anyways, as I stated before, the first room of the mines is also shown in this clip, and the most prominent thing we see is another generator, which implies a generator puzzle may also appear in this room, which is pretty cool. Anyways, that was about everything I was able to analyze from this new Floor 2 teaser trailer in Roblox stores. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments, and with all of that being said, thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed.